Hey guys, Elite Ultra Studios here, and today I have the Black Widow helicopter chase review for you guys. So first up, let's start with the minifigures. And also, I'm sorry that this uh, camera stand is a little wobbly. That's because I'm on the trampoline. Uh, so the first figure is, I actually forgot his name. Uh, I think it was like Moon Knight or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't seen the new Black Widow movie yet. So he has some really cool detailing on his torso. Here's the back. His legs don't have any printing, unfortunately. Oh. And he comes with this like sword and shield combo that has this little peg right there that you just attach to his hand. And then he has a hoodie on, so you just take that off. It's a really cool face print. There's no back printing on it either. So this figure is pretty cool. Let's get on to the next figure. Next up we have, I do not know who this person is either. Um, she comes with two gray pistols, some leg printing. Here's the torso printing. Here's her face. She has two faces and she has this happy face. Oops. And this is her hair. Uh, this hair piece is pretty common, so it's not a very valuable figure. But let's move on to Black Widow. Black Widow comes with two of, the, two of these like energy baton things. Here is her torso. Here's the leg printing. Here's the back of the torso. This is her other face. And this is the angry face that she has. Now let's get on to the build. Before the build, I have forgotten to tell you guys that it also comes with this little motorcycle. It has a, two stickers on it, one here and one here. You can fit Black Widow on it. Let's get on to the build now. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say this is probably one of my favorite Lego sets Lego has ever released. It is super cool. So you can just take off, or you don't even have to take off anything. Just take away the minifigures and it's just like a normal military helicopter. It's super cool. Um, has the spinning propellers right here. And then one on the back right here. So you can get that spinning mode. Uh, there's a little caution sticker right there. Same on this side and over here. And also there's some like little engine things. Oops. Another caution sticker. Here, let me get it to focus there. A number three symbol or number three like uh, sticker same on this side and then there's this, this antenna um, it comes with the uh, stud shooters but I took off the part where you can fire them because these little studs will get lost and then we there are two guns on them on each side and also uh, more stud shooters and then on the bottom, there's some wheels, two little lights right there. And if you open up the cockpit, there's a little control panel area. And I'm gonna put the uh, the uh, Moon Knight figure. I'm not sure what he's called in there. So here he is in the cockpit and it's really cool. So there are two little control like sticks there, control panel on this side another control panel and then you can also lift up this hatch easily because there's just these and so you can lift it up by since like this isn't a full brick you can just slide your fingernail under there and pop it off really easily and then 
there's some interior in here. It's kind of hard to fit a figure in there without the roof kind of hitting its head, so you have to make them sit down. And it has this little crate in here. Let me get it out. There. Here it is. It has some bars of like metal and some like the uh, diamond. Uh, I wish they had like the gold bars in here instead of like the silver ones because the gold ones are a bit harder to find in Lego sets, but these silver ones uh, are pretty easy to find. So let me just put these away. So there's a sticker here, sticker there, same with the other side. And there's some windows right there. Windows on the other side too. And yeah, so there's the interior. Um, so I'm gonna show you probably one of the best parts about this. Now, since it's all closed up, I'm gonna show you probably the funnest play feature I've probably ever seen on a set. So you just lift this down and then just like get your finger in there and there's a little ATV that fits in there. It's really cool and the, the design of it is really cool too. It's a new design for an ATV that I don't think we've ever seen before. So it just fits up in there. And then there are like two wheels sticking out. So you just do that and it closes. Whoa. Again, I'm sorry for the wobbly camera. It's because I'm on the trampoline. And also I'm sorry for not uploading too much. It's just because I've had a lot of online school um, and I don't have that much time for set reviews. So yeah, I'm having another set review tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. And thank you guys for almost 65 subscribers. Bye guys.